on to you. I hope you are having a great day today. And I thought we would kind of revisit what happened yesterday, which was my very first ride and shoot that I will continue to be doing uh, throughout the summer. And you might ask yourself, what is a ride and shoot? Well, it pretty much is getting together with some other riders. Uh, we take a little scoot somewhere. And then I set up a free photography session and I wanted to kind of talk to you about how that went, uh, some of the results, which I'll be able to show you guys. You guys let me know what you think and tell you a little bit more about what I have planned for that coming up. So this is something that just kind of came up to me as far as a way to give back to the community and the motorcycle community for all the support that you all have shown me and I thought what better way I mean who doesn't like a really good photo on their motorcycle and when I do these things it is 100% free of charge and when you do participate with a ride and shoot the goal is that if you show up that I get at least one solid good photo for you to use on your social media um, or any other place that you would feel like you would want to use it if you so choose to do so you have 100% permission to use anywhere you like so that's like the, the premise of the ride and shoot it's also a good way to meet other riders and you know just kind of connect with people now it's not to say that I don't try to plug myself just a little bit uh, here comes a shameless plug on this video I mean I do have photography sessions and packages available it, if people want to inquire about them at that time uh, and then I go over kind of pricing and, and what it entails. But at the moment of the ride and shoot, it doesn't cost you anything. And you're guaranteed to walk away with at least one photo. I'm not going to stop just uh, here in San Diego doing these. I think I'm going to incorporate these even as I travel around the United States. And it's something that I'll be posting up on my social media, more specifically my Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, uh, you can go over there and follow me at full underscore throttle underscore hog and look for those notifications of the ride and shoot. So yesterday's ride and shoot was a really big success and I, actually there was a bike there that you might recognize. Take a look at this. So crazy small world, I have to tell you this story because this bike might look familiar to you. This is Adam Sandoval's old road glide that was auctioned off or raffled off, I should say, and it just so happened to go to somebody who lives in the San Diego area and they're out here for a first ride and shoot. Adam, I hope I can do it some good justice and get some good shots of your old bike. So the crazy story about that bike is that Adam, you know, raffled off that bike. I believe it was like a $25 uh, raffle ticket and just one random ticket was pulled or person was pulled when she signed up. This gentleman won and now he's got you know something for him and his little dog who came out for the shoot and it was pretty awesome to be able to uh you know shoot the dog as well i mean along with a good picture of a motorcycle who doesn't like a good picture of a dog but it's just kind of a crazy small world because i have uh i've seen that bike in moyers oklahoma uh i've seen that bike in sturgis south dakota and just ironically the person that won that harley davidson lives here in San Diego. So I thought that was pretty cool. So the area that I decided to take everybody to yesterday was Sunrise Highway. It's actually the highway that we're on right now as I'm shooting this video. It is just a gorgeous backcountry road that I absolutely love. It's one of my top spots for sure. A uh, good way to decompress if you guys are in the area. And there's just so many great places to grab a good photograph here on Sunrise Highway. So I thought, why not take advantage of it? and try to get as many bangers as possible. Once we got up here, we kind of chit-chatted for a little bit, got to know everybody, I handed out some stickers, and then it was time to get to work. Uh, everybody was really cool. I mean, you gotta have a little bit of patience if you guys are gonna come out for these things, because if you've ever done a photo shoot before, there's usually some directing going on and, and the vision that the photographer has in their head and they just kind of guide you through it. So everybody was really cool, really patient uh, as I kind of worked through, you know, different riding poses and stationary poses. The goal was to get some lifestyle stuff. So 
you know, with my photography, I do like to do lifestyle stuff, people working. I've done it at Harley dealerships. So you guys can check out this photo or these photos right here. And now, you know, getting more focused in on riding. Oh, here comes a little cattle crate. Let's stand up. All right. Uh, I really want to get more action shots of people riding their motorcycles. So, you know, one of the best things you can do for small business folks is you know word of mouth and spreading that if you guys like my style every photographer is a little bit different they all have their style and it's subjective right the art is subjective so if you don't like this my style not gonna hurt my feelings uh it's just my style of photography and if you know anybody who might be interested in that if they would like to get a photo session done of them and their their honey or them and their motorcycles or their dog Please feel free to pass on my information. Whoa, watch out, squirrels. I almost got them. Did I get them? But anyway, if you guys know of anybody that might be interested in a photography session, please, please, please get them over to the Full Throttle Hog Instagram. You can shoot me a DM, or you can always email me at fullthrottlehog at outlook.com. So in the beginning of yesterday's session, just so you guys understand how that worked, I basically had them jump on their bikes and jam up and down the hill a couple times, and I just kept on moving my positions uh, on where I was going to be, depending on the light, to see if I can get some pretty cool angles. Uh, you know, here's some of the examples that uh, we got in the beginning portion. Now, with any photography, obviously, warm-up shots are crucial, kind of get you into that creative mindset, and that's kind of where we were at with these. Uh, after that, there's this nice little platform that I really enjoy shooting at. The background is awesome. And with a good lens, you can compress that background really clear. And just makes for some really clean looking photos, in my opinion. Uh, so we hung out on this platform and I was able to snap some of these shots here uh, that you see up on your screen. And then it was time to move on. From there, we decided to jam up a little further on Sunrise Highway, where I loved how the sun was was kind of banking off the back of the rocks, and with the different color bikes, it just turned out to be perfect. I mean, but look at this real quick. This is gorgeous. No bad days, folks no bad days so i do plan on having a lot more of these style of get togethers if you guys are interested in it you guys can let me know i don't know, comment below let me know what you thought of the photos which one was your favorite uh and if it's something that you would like to partake in in the future where i pretty much am giving you just some free photography and we're basically i'm just trying to give you maybe a good instagram banger for for your page but i'd be curious if you guys are interested in something like that if this is your first time here i am running on a 2020 road glide special you can check out this video right here for my long-term review on my road glide special and until next time folks you guys ride safe you be safe and we'll catch you on the next one